Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Domestic violence victim speaks up after her stud beats the brakes off her. <clears throat> Brothers, not only did this title grab my attention, but also the interaction that this woman had with the individuals in her life. Because after this woman received this beating, she went on Instagram Live or Facebook Live or what have you, in my humble opinion, for attention. Because we know this is the current state and the condition of our people. They want attention for any and everything. But more or less, what was more profound is the interactions. People stating that they were praying for her. And as we can see here, let me blow this up a little bit for you brothers. Someone says, someone by the name of Shea said, this is too much in one day. Um, Nicole Dorsey states that, Lord, wrap your arms around my day one. This is not okay. And those of us who operate in the spirit, we know that this is the Lord sending a harsh and brutal rebuke to re admonish this woman, to get her to repent. But we'll see, as I played the video through and through, and I want you brothers to, to pay attention to the end of the video, which is going to show you this woman more than likely is not going to repent and she loves this lifestyle. She enjoys it, right? But how do we know? Let's come out of this here, right? Romans chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. Because what your Christian pastor will not teach you is that the Lord will give up on you. You don't serve him. You make yourself a walking target for his wrath. And it reads, because of this, Yahweh gave them over to shameful lust. Even their women exchanged natural relations. What's a natural relation for a woman to be with the man? For a natural one. What's an unnatural one for a woman to be with the woman? What else the Lord says he will do? In the same way, the men also abandoned their natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committing shameful acts with other men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. You may look at a video like this or come across a news story like this. This is the due penalty for this woman's error, for the lifestyle that she's living. Let's come out of this. How can we further substantiate our point? Remember what is stated in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. He gives us more insight on how people will be toward the end times. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud. Isn't this pride month? Abusive. Wasn't this woman abused? Yes, she was. Disobedient to their parents, ungrateful and unholy. As we see by way of the scriptures, this is an unholy lifestyle here. Hold on, brothers. I want to give you a few facts before I play her video in its entirety. Very quickly, domestic violence peaks more than ever for the LGBTQIA plus community. Man, that's a long title, right? And it reads, abusive relationships are characterized by consecutive acts of denigration, physical and verbal abuse, intimidation, and access, pardon me, excessive control. While abusers will attempt to normalize such behaviors to maintain power in the relationship, these acts are and should always be recognized as domestic violence. What many do not recognize is that aggressive behavioral patterns and violence are more common in non-heterosexual couples and members of the LGBTQIA community, according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence and the Williams Institute of Law. I want to grab the second bullet point here, brothers. Around 44% of lesbians and 61% of bisexual women have experienced forms of rape and physical violence by an intimate partner as compared to 35 percent of straight women let me grab one more fact for you brothers let me grab one more fact we did, that's not what we want we wanted this so i wanted to look at how it's affecting high school students that's a part of this lifestyle and it reads um 18 versus eight percent i mean there's a 10 percent increase right percentage of high school students who experience physical dating violence. Lesbian, gay, and bisexual students 
were more than two times likely to have experienced physical dating violence. Now, let's get into her video. What I want to do, brothers, I want to mute the very beginning of the video because I think it plays Drake or something or another. And then um, I'm not sure why, but her recording gets a little spotty. But I want you to watch it all the way to the end, right? Because even though the Lord has offered this woman a time to repent, more than likely she will not repent. And as you can see, you know, they're promoting the pride lifestyle, then the casino, you know, living it up, doing it big. Nevertheless, the Lord is not pleased. Let me take this off a of mute here. This is fucking crazy led to this. This is really the end of us. As you can see, it states, this girl really pistol whooped me. Two years. People act funny, and I don't got time for it. Like I'm really distant from everybody in this. Like from everybody, and I think that's probably why I be so attached to my. Hang in there, brothers. Praying for you, baby. Thank you, cousin. Thank you, James. Head, chest out. This is time. Thank you, Ducky. Now, those of us who operate in the spirit, we know there's nothing funny about the Lord's judgment. As we can see here, um, several individuals message her, sending prayers, love praying for a speedy recovery but those of us in the knowledge we understand the lord is not listening to these individuals here right he's not listening to their prayers and, and before i jump and dive into this lesson more i want to make a clear distinction between the wicked and the righteous yes we're all in sinful flesh and even as a righteous man i sin and other brothers sin but however the scripture states the righteous man stumble seven times to get it back up see we're different from the world we put off the old man and we're putting him off every day we're pursuing the lord we're renewing our mind by way of these scriptures we're repenting every day we're fasting we're praying we're seeking the lord unlike the wicked right they pursue wickedness and they live they live vile lives all right the lord is not listening to them but how do we know Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. Even Job understood this. Job chapter 35, verse 12. He does not answer when people cry out because of the arrogance of what? The wicked. These people are wicked here, man. You understand? Even John told us all the prophets knew this. All the prophets, every last one of them. Now, now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh and doeth his will, he heareth him. Why? Because the Lord is merciful unto us. He's patient with us because we're seeking him. We're pursuing him. We're putting off the old nature. Like the scripture states, cast off the old lump so that you, that be, you may be a new lump. We're complete. We're being renewed every day. Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 26 but they were disobedient and rebelled against you they turned their backs on your law they killed your prophets because back in the days in the ancient world they would kill the prophets for bringing this out like the scripture states the people wanted them to prophesy unto us smooth things the lord loves everybody he died for the whole world he loves you regardless of what you do but that simply isn't the truth right let's keep reading who had warned them in order to turn them back to you. They committed awful blasphemies. It's an awful blasphemy to live this contrary lifestyle. Let's go on from there, right? 
because even in Solomon, pardon me, even in Proverbs, written by Solomon, one of the wisest men to walk the earth, and this is how the Lord communicates his words by his prophets. And this is what the scripture is going, in his, going into him. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 20. Out in the open, wisdom calls aloud. She raises her voice in the public square. On the top of the wall, she cries out. At the city gates, she makes her speech. And how is the Lord doing this? By his men, through his prophet, through the videos, through the brothers on the highways and the hedges. We'll continue reading. How long will you, simple ones, love your simple ways? How long will you mockers delight in mockery and fools hate knowledge? Repent at my rebuke. See, the Lord done this to her to get her to repent, to turn back, to cast off that lifestyle. What does the Lord say? Then I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make known to you my teachings. But since you refuse to listen when I call and no one pays attention when I stretched out my hand, since you disregard all my advice and do not accept my rebuke. This is what the Lord says. This is what the Lord says. I in turn will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock when your calamity overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster sweeps over you like a whirlwind, when distress and trouble overwhelm you, then, woo, then they will call to me, but I will not answer. They will look for me, but will not find me. Since they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord, since they would not accept my advice and spurn my rebuke, they will eat the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their schemes, for their waywardness of the simple will kill them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm. That's a cold cut to wicked Negroes, man. A cold cut. Even Jeremiah knew this in his time. What does the Lord tell Jeremiah when he, when he wanted to pray for wicked Negroes, right? Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 14. And it reads, do not pray for these people or offer up any plea or a petition for them because I will not listen when you when they call on me in the time of their distress the Lord is not listening to her her friends her family members that's praying for her. the Lord doesn't care you understand what you have to understand the Lord is an austere man those 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 prayers that they're sending up is not is they're hitting the ceiling right their prayers aren't going any higher than their head Go to Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Well, this is what the Lord says. I will bring on them a disaster that they cannot escape. Although they cry out to me, I will not listen to them. Right? So even though this woman might, might have survived this attack, right? The Lord, in essence, really, he given her time to repent. Revelations chapter 2, verse 21. Listen to what the Lord says. I gave her time to repent of her immorality but she is unwilling but you pay attention to how that woman was laughing at the end of that video after she received that brutal pistol whipping right let me come down to something let's be more specific right king james version it reads i gave her space to repent of her fornication and she repented not you have to understand this fornication is any form of sex that is unnatural. It could be with, with it could be with animals, with 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 with. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna be um, PG-13 here. Any form of sex that's unnatural, that's sexual immorality and fornication. All right. But judging by the way the woman, this woman laughed at the end of her video, this is gonna be her fate here. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. But the cowardly, the unbelievable. The unbelieving, pardon me, the vile, the murderous, the sexual moral, those who practice magic arts. I want to explain to you really quickly what magic art the arts is. Those who roll, those who do uh, um, pop pills, Percocets, who mix, mix blunts with cocaine, who, who, who concoct new drugs. That's, that's what your modern day uh, magic arts is considered, all right? The idolaters and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur this is the second death 
So this woman here, the Lord in essence had mercy upon her. Rewind this back a bit. So you brothers, the Lord in essence had mercy upon her. But judging by the way she laughed at the end of that video, this woman is not going to be going to repent and she is destined for the lake of fire. Hopefully, hopefully brothers, you found this lesson edifying. Shalom.